TC, Spiritual Shepherd, welcome back guys. Today we are getting into the 2024 growth phase, the 2024 build up, okay? The accumulation and how we are going to build up and cultivate our energy for 2024, how I'm going to cultivate this. So in this video, I'm gonna give you a lot of different personal references. I'm not gonna set a time frame to this, so this might be a longer video, but I want you guys to you know, heed knowledge and definitely cultivate exactly what I'm saying in this video. Why? Because a lot of the things that I'm doing is at the forefront of the small percentage of the high business, the high fitness, the high emotionality, the high psychology, the high philosophy realms that you are researching on YouTube. And so therefore, I want you guys to have the best knowledge and I'll be offering this stuff for free, I obviously have a course that you guys can do that or a one-on-one -on -one, uh, consultation with me and also one-on-one -on -one, you know, training and uh, uh, coaching with me. So if you guys are interested in that, just reach out below or message me privately. Um, spots are booking up, so I want you guys to know this. So then uh, if, if there's any space left, go ahead and grab a spot. Now, one thing that we are going to get into is the journey for self health and wealth so first and foremost i dare you to be rare i dare you to be rare the rarer version of yourself okay so there's multiple selves we have multiple parallel realities and versions of ourselves so you have a broke self you have a very rich self you have a expansive self you have a contracted self you have a growing self you have a complacent self you have a lacking self you have an abundant self and the purpose of this is this is in different paradigms and different pillars of your life whether it's mental or emotional or physical or spiritual and in these concepts i want you guys to understand that as you tap into each one of these different types of pillars you are getting into specific frequencies of vibration of resonance which means that you are attracting things in your life i can guarantee you've heard of the law of attraction or you've heard someone who's heard of the law of attraction and from this the law of attraction is, is when you are at an attractive or magnetic frequency to be able to receive what you desire so you have a a few different things that are popping up in your head of what you desire. If you desire specific things, you have to put yourself on the resonant frequency to be able to attract these frequency things. Okay. And so if you are putting yourself on the frequency to receive these desires, you are putting on yourself, not just wishing, but you are actually living as if the wish is fulfilled. You are living as if you are this being that is attracting all of these things to you. This is the most powerful way to expand and grow your life. Now with self health and wealth, and obviously relationships. So self-health, wealth, relationships are another four pillars. I have a multitude of things that I speak to with either clients, personal one-on-one -on -one private coaching, or with just people who definitely pick up my frequency, whether I'm, I'm out and about. Um, now, one thing I want you guys to understand is, is self-health, wealth, relationships. These are the four biggest pillars and connections that we're gonna make in our life. And I put it in that specific order, self-health, wealth relationships the reason why is because you must take care of yourself before you can ever be in a relationship you must care for your health before you care for your wealth you must care for yourself before you care for your health you have to have the right mindset before you even eat a burger before you even eat anything so that's what i'm saying is if you have positive mind they've done this scientific studies that if you have a positive mindset you will actually digest food differently than somebody who has a negative mindset so that's why you must care for yourself first. It's self-talk, you know, self-appreciation, self-compassion, you know, uh, letting go of old versions of yourself, you know, talking to yourself, positive thinking, less negative thinking. Check out that video, less negative thinking. Now, one thing I want you guys to talk, uh, uh, to, to get into is, and what I want to talk about is, is that as you think positively and as you have, you know, uh, positive paradigms within your with, within your mind frames and what memories and as you start to associate with old memories that might have been bad and you start to reassociate positive feelings and associations with those old memories that's also going to how you're how you're going to transform it's exactly how you're going to transform so self is caring for yourself going to the gym taking care of your body getting enough sleep getting the right food you know, caring for yourself, like genuinely caring for yourself, self-growth, self-care, 
um, you know, self-acceptance, these types of things, self-improvement. So then you get into health. Health is when you start, you know, you pick your meal prep, you pick a, a nutrition lifestyle that works well with you, that you are going to stick to for the long term or for your life. It's called the lifestyle change for a reason because you are to ultimately run on the style of that lifestyle because it's going gonna, it's gonna to put you within a certain life frame. Carnivores generally are not going to hang out with vegans as much. Now, there is that rarity, but I'm just saying, and it's also being non-judgmental. So that's a big thing. I went vegan and now I'm a carnivore. It's very interesting. Now, another another one too is, is getting the gym in. Start setting up a, a schedule. Start setting up an AM ritual or an AM routine or a PM ritual or a PM routine. Start setting up multitudes of hygiene routines or hygiene lists and an organization place. Like so you can organize organize your your garage. You can organize that you know, drawer that you're supposed to clean. You can organize your house or your home or whatever. Get yourself on a schedule, you know, schedule time to just rest and schedule time to work, schedule time for relationships, schedule time for your health, yourself, or your self health, wealth, relationships, schedule time, specific times for these, these uh, things. Okay. Now, one thing as well that I want to get into guys is wealth. So wealth accumulation, start to think expansively, not just save, save, save. Get out of scarcity mindset. I just encourage you to get out of scarcity mindset. When you get out of scarcity mindset, it's, oh, I have to save because something might happen. I have to always work, work, work because this, this, this. It's like once you put yourself in an abundant frequency, Okay, I know this sounds crazy because you've never done this and you've never heard of this or you've rarely done this and rarely heard of this, but I want you guys to put yourself in an abundant frequency. Put yourself in the frequency that I have more than enough. Just tell yourself, I have way more than enough. I make more money that, than, than I know what to do with. And keep consistently telling yourself, delusional affirmations are still affirmations. And one thing is, there, there's two things. This is what I what I actually bring up. I think that women can generally be too delusional and men cannot be delusional enough. We're too logical. And so I think there has to be a blending of these energies where, and I'm not saying that, I'm not saying like have people be more logical, have, but I'm saying that you have to start convincing yourself as a man that you are more worth it. Suicide rates are are mostly men. So I want you to transform yourself on that front, okay? And also start speaking to yourself positively. Like you are worth way more than you make. You are worth more than you make, way more than you make if you choose to believe it. And you're, you're worth less than what you make if you believe it. I know that sounds crazy, but your worth and what – your net worth is, is also some, uh, like semi and somewhat attached to your net worth or your gross, you know, your, your gross income. It's very interesting. Same with your emotional, emotional connections with your family, your emotional connections and your mentality, what you study and what, what your entertainment is. So how you play and how you entertain yourself. And then also how you study and how you learn and how you build knowledge. The more you lean more toward the knowledge and the study, you are increasing your worth. People can't take, people cannot take knowledge from you. They cannot. Okay. They can leave you. They can, they can talk shit on you. They can say all this shit but they still cannot take your knowledge from you. That's why it's knowledge is power. And I think applied knowledge is true power. It's empowerment. Now, one thing I also want to talk about, guys, is your spirituality or relationships. Okay, so relationships are connected to spirituality, regardless if you think so or not. But for us to it, it's an exchange of energy with our within our relationships. So as you build relationships, I want you to think of that person as you. You would want to be respected. You'd want to feel whole. You'd want them to feel whole because they are you. And you'd also want them to have an open mind. You want them to listen to you, so you listen to them. You'd want them to. You'd want to be able to talk, right? So let them talk. So it's these types of correlations. You want to. Expand your psychology, so expand their psychology as much as you can or give them the opportunity and openness to expand their psychology and many multitudes of this and also allow people for growth, have compassion on them, have gratitude 
for them, have thankfulness for them, and their even their small growth. Because being grateful for their small growth is when they're going to have a ginormous, a ginormous growth. Okay, a huge growth, a spiritual awakening, things like this. Okay, now one thing as well, guys, is in this uh, 2024 uh, cultivation is I'm going to start focusing more on myself. Okay. I love all of you guys. I love each and every one of you guys. I love all the people who like, I love all the people who care about me. I love my family. I love my friends. I love my significant other. I love, you know, all of my nieces and my nephews. I love everybody, my aunts, uncles, everybody. Now I know that I don't generally always resonate with everything that you guys either believe or resonate or think of or think for me or I think for you and all these different things. Now, one thing I just ask if you are watching this is, is that you just respect my own point of view. I just want you to just think about maybe the ways that you've disrespected my point of view or thought, you know, whatever I was saying or believing or thinking was so outlandish or, you know, hypocritical or whatever. I want you to just kind of put that aside. I just ask that you put that aside and that's just an ego for me. I'm saying that's just a that's just a version of me that you might associate with your version of me. But I want you to understand that I'm here on a uh, on a mission and a vision and I'm here to build the world. Okay? And we do this in different ways. We speak from gen different generations and different differences of, you know, race or gender or or whatever. As much as we see the similarities of human, you know, human humanity, the the one race, okay? And as we see God as somebody who's it could be a he and it could be a they, where it, it, that's actually what Elohim is. Elohim, if you actually look up the definition of God, Elohim, it's them. It's it's actually said as them like it's both a man and a woman. And it would actually make sense that we are forever making love you know, in the celestial abode, the celestial bodies, which is the planets and beyond the universe and everything. And then that is creating small children, which looks like you and I, but I don't want to freak you out on all that stuff, but I'm just asking you guys that you guys allow me to just express from your point of view, just allow yourself to allow me to express my own point of view because I'm going to allow it anyways. I'm going to claim my own reality anyways. I'm going to claim what I truly believe. Is it my truth? Is it your truth? Is it our truth? Is it the truth? Who freaking cares? Just speak the truth. Just speak truth. Just speak trust. Like I truly believe that you could trust me if you allow yourself to trust me. Like also, I just encourage you to trust me. Okay? I just I allow you the capability to be able to trust me. I'm not saying trust me. But I am saying I encourage you to allow yourself to trust me. Because allowing people their own paradigm and their own perspective draws openness for people to be gravitating towards that person. Okay. And my whole thing is it's not about attention. It's not about being famous. It's not about being rich. It's about my mission. It's about my vision. So in this 2024 run, okay, I'm not doing a 90 day run. I'm not doing a 120 day run, 150 day run. I'm not doing a half year run. I'm not doing... I'm just going to stay focused and consistent as much as I possibly can. And I'm going to start focusing on me. I'm going to, so I'm putting out a 42 day series minimally. So I know I'm doing 42 days straight. Um, and that is starting tomorrow. So I guess it's been starting for the last four days because I have not missed um, a day. So maybe it's 46 days, but whatever. I'm doing a 42 day series where I'm getting into self health, wealth, relationships. I'm getting into a multitude of things of mental, emotional, physical, spiritual. I'm getting into, you know, dare to be rare fitness. I'm getting into richness. I'm getting into wealth accumulation, business acquisition, all these different types of things. Uh, I'll be getting in, obviously, and selling my course on every one of these videos, but also expanding my online presence for the people who generally gravitate towards my content, whether that's from TikTok, whether that's from YouTube, whether that's from Instagram and people gravitating towards my YouTube. Now, YouTube is definitely my favorite platform because it's more long form. It's more long form. It helps my attention span prolongate and elongate um, and keep uh, a longer attention span. 
And one thing that I would definitely say, guys, is as you are evolving and as you are growing, allow yourself to grow physically, to grow emotionally, to grow spiritually, to grow mentally. They will tell you, whoever they are, it might be your parents, it might be your teachers, it might be your pastors, it might be your elders, it might be people who are older than you, it might be people who are on online who you believe are you know older than you and whatever. But I want to encourage you that encourage the old soul aspect even christians talk about this but consider a soul is light right okay a soul as in solar solar is light so solar okay so soul is light so if we have light inside of us i've already proven videos like this if we have light inside of us some people have more light than others there is spectrums of light which is the rainbow there is dark light there is light light there is middle light there is you know, ultraviolet light, there's infrared light, there's x-ray vision, there's all these different, there's uh, cosmic rays, there's all these different types of vibrations of light and light spectrums, okay? And I could talk about this, I talk about this in my course, so a little bit of free knowledge for you guys, but I want you to start thinking about the times where you have been brighter and also been darker, been more dimmer, Okay, and so I encourage you that you just respect light in other people and also start to build and cultivate your light. So in this year, I'm going to start building my light, focusing on myself, you know, and really caring for myself and not putting so much people pleasing out into the world, if if at all, because I'm I want you guys not to think of me as my old version when I was 20, when I was a drug addict or when I was 15, when I was a complete people pleaser or when I was 50 or uh, 12 or when I was 10 when I was completely you know outlandish and foolish and just talked completely extroverted out of my ass I ask of you that you just see me as I am now it's as I am as I am not as I was or as I think I will be it's as I am we don't get a reflection we don't get in life what we desire but we get a, a reflection of what we are we get a true reflection of what we are, not what we generally desire. So if you want, 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 it's not about that. It's generally about what we truly are emitting, what we are being. And by the beingness, we also become. We have becomingness, okay? So by creating your beingness, by being a better being, by being a better being, meditate on that. By being a better being, you have a better becomingness, a better becomingness. Okay, you could be the best being that you could be by becoming the be the better being by being a better being. That's a total wrap right there. Total nice, beautiful light spell. <laughs> so that's also the thing too is, is most people misinterpret magic. Miracles are magical. Miracles are magical and you can actually see that they're very similar in their etymology and the way that their terminology is created. So... I just inspire you and I'm also going to start being, I'm going to be uh, creating more content on here. I'll probably have a, a few people where I actually do some podcasts with. I've been reaching out to a few people to do podcasts with. I'm going to be expanding uh, on YouTube. So, you know, maybe the goal this year is a thousand subscribers. So doubling my subscriber rate of what I'm at right now. Um, so I'm on my way to 500. Now, one thing as well, guys, is Finishing up my business, so building multiple streams of businesses. I just talked to a real estate and uh, a real estate guy, very great gentleman. Talked a little bit of spirituality, talked different things about my course. Just had a great conversation with him. Listened to a lot of what he has to say. As much as I have to say, I also have that same amount of energy to listen to somebody. Guaranteed, guaranteed. And one thing too, guys, is is as we build more, you know, clear audience as you have more clear hearing for people, then you are also going to be able to be more clairvoyant, more clear seeing. You're going to be able to see from other people's perspectives and see from multiple perspectives within your, within your own mind. Now, one thing guys too is, is, so I'm going to be focused on that. I'm going to be leaving cheesecake. So leaving cheesecake is a very important thing for me as well. So that I work at the cheesecake factory. I'm a top serve at Cheesecake Factory. Um, I just see myself as in when I go in there, it's, I love everybody. Like I said, guys, I love, you know, my bosses. I, everybody treats me great. Um, you know, and I have patience with a lot of people. I have patience. Sometimes I can be frustrated. Forgive me. I'm human. 
at times, but I want you guys to understand that as I start to evolve, I'm realizing that it's not necessarily, it might be a waste of time, but I still meet enough people. I network there a lot. So I wouldn't consider it a waste of time, but I would definitely consider it, you know, like it definitely brings my time value down or my money value down, like trading time for dollars and different things like this, where I could see, like I've been having conversations, I'm literally having conversations with 30 year olds, 40 year olds, 50 year olds. I'm having like conversations with like top business people, people who make millions of dollars. And in no way is this a flex, but I just see myself like way different than kind of where I'm at. And I respect everybody where I'm at. It's a great place to, to learn and to grow. And I respect my managers and my bosses who, you know, have allowed me that. But I also see myself as my own boss. And they don't generally micromanage me. They know that I generally can run my own shit. And that's what I'm grateful about being there. I feel like other places they might, you know, say this or say that where people are generally very respective of my energy. And a lot of times it's because I've demanded that respect. I've put out that confidence that I can handle my own. Just let me know. Just let me know. I'll handle it. And this is the type of vibe that goes into all things, guys. This is the type of thing. You have this business or you have fitness or you have you know, a relationship that you really want to invest in right now. Maybe you want to do all three. Maybe you want to do five things. Maybe you want to do 10 things. I would say focus, amplify one, focus, amplify one, focus, amplify one, focus, amplify one, and then you have four amplified ones, okay? That's a big thing that I've also realized is staying focused for a given set period of time on different things and also being around the board the best. So being like really, really good at fitness, being really, really good at your emotions and understanding, you know, socio, uh, you know, socio emotional body language and understanding different things like this, being able to be open to other people's emotions, feeling how other people feel, um, thinking how other people think, you know, things like this psychology, philosophy, opening your mind. That's in the mental realm, spirituality, reading spiritual books, reading books that will help enlighten you, help awaken you, help amplify your energies and your frequencies and your vibration of your uh, emission of your aura. Excuse me. And then I would also say, guys, in this 2024, you know, going completely solo on YouTube and just running with YouTube, being a completely online entrepreneur, running multiple streams of income, doing things like this. And I hope to be inspiration to my friends, to my colleagues, to my coworkers, to my family. And I, instead of look at me like, you know, he's a, he's a young yin or whatever. I don't care how people really perceive me. I obviously know people are going to have some misperceptions of me and I, I don't really care what people think, but I am asking politely now. And so if you, if I ask politely now, then later I don't have to ask politely. So that's a big thing is, you know, you ask politely once, you ask politely twice, then after that, it's pretty much fair game where you can demand your boundaries. Um, and I'm, I'm very much like that. I would actually say that that's actually very healthy. Um, you know, people don't cross Yeshua Christos. <laughs> people don't cross, people don't cross Yeshua. I mean, they try to put him on the cross, but they couldn't even cross him, bro. <laughs> Double entendre. Yo, you try to, you can't even cross Yeshua. You put him on a cross. You messed it up. Came back again, man. He leveled up. <laughs> so there's that. There's that again. So I want you guys to understand that as you evolve, think of yourself as a plant, as a bamboo plant. Keep watering your seed. Keep watering, evolving yourself. Think of yourself as a butterfly. You're in a cocoon or you're, or you're a moth and you're in a cocoon. You're spinning silk. You know, you have to be strong enough to be able to immerse, to, to be able to immerse as a butterfly or a moth. You have to be strong enough. You have to have boundaries. So you have to build boundaries strong enough. Then in those boundaries, you're going to have an inner healing, an inner vision. You're going to have vision from God. Like you're going to have a mission from God because you've only gone through the things that you've gone through. You like, seriously, like you and we all go through similar things and that's our tribe and then different tribes will obviously build different tribes and cultivate and and communi uh, build community with different tribes 
with like-minded missions and like-minded tribes, okay? So ultimately, guys, I want you to start thinking from the perception that you can always evolve. Think more abundant, okay? And I'm thinking more abundant. I'm thinking in the ways that we evolve and that we grow, you know, a lot of times we we have so much shit to say to ourselves. We talk so much shit on ourselves or we talk shit on other people. And if we came in with that same fucking energy and we up and, and we boosted up somebody, that's actually very positive. That's actually very, very good for your life. But I want you guys, instead of, you know, talking shit on somebody, talk somebody up. Instead of having somebody allow themselves to talk shit on you, you just say, you know, that's just their suggestion and their opinion of me from their misperception and lack of vision of me. And I know who I am and embody that confidence. Embodying the confidence is also going to exude and exponentially grow and be grounded for people to receive. Okay, and then they will build trust with that when you have built confidence and trust within yourself. You build self-reliance within yourself. People, you don't always have to be a dependent on other people. Okay, and so self-health, wealth, relationships. We've gotten into self-health, wealth, relationships, mental, emotional, physical, and spiritual, business acquisition, wealth acquisition, um, you know, acu- uh, building more on YouTube, uh, you know, obviously having set goals for different things. Now, I'm not going to tell everybody exactly what I want to do, but I'm definitely giving you guys, you know, that openness. Uh, Maybe it will give you some inspiration. And I also want you to stop listening to people who only talk shit or continuously talk shit on you, okay? They will always have something to say. They will always have something to the say. Like, if if they are continuously saying stuff that is negative, like I said, imagine if imagine if they they probably talk to themselves even worse because we are with ourselves the most. So if they're talking to, to you that way, then they're talking to them probably even worse. Okay, and so it's an it's inspiration to first of all, don't listen to them. Second of all, you know they're talking to themselves worse than, than you are. It's, it's supposed to, and, and it's building up inspiration in them to, if they came in with that same energy, they came in with that same exact energy and they brought it positively, they would be up leveling. Okay. And also don't be crabs in a bucket vibe where it's like, Oh, if you have it, I'm going to try to drag you down. Or if you have this, I'm going to try to pull you down. That is scarcity crab in a bucket's mindset. Abundant mindset is, hell yeah, you're winning. Good job, you're winning. I'm proud of you for winning. I'm proud of you that you have a fit body. I'm proud of you. And by that energy, it's expansive. And that expansive energy will allow room inside of you for the most high to show up inside of you and for you to cultivate and to build and to evolve in your life. And by you evolving in your life, you are going to allow yourself to do and to accomplish what you just congratulated somebody else on. See, but by you doing the inverse, if you were to be like, oh, fuck this person for winning. I can't believe that they're winning. I can't believe they're making so much money. I can't believe that they started a business. I can't believe that, whatever. If they're doing this all the time or, or, and they will always have a, a bunch of shit to say. They'll say some negative ass, dark ass spells because that's all they're taught in their music and all they're taught in their movies and all this shit. But they've never... Yo, just imagine if we all talked each other up. This is a whole video in and of itself. But just imagine if we talked everybody up. Like, fuck yeah, you go. You go. And men to women, women to men. Imagine if we just fucking forgave people and we forgive. I know it sounds like a crazy ass concept. It sounds so utopian for you guys to even believe it. But, yo, just even just imagine, bro. Just imagine. So, talk to yourself let go of people like let go of people's perceptions of you like i still think that people think i'm like 15 or people think i'm like 20 or people think i'm still a drug addict people think i'm still an alcoholic or people still think i'm friends with them because like i've known you but i will i and in no way like we're an acquaintance but like dude i haven't hung out with you in two years like i'm not gonna go hang out with you like we'd have to rekindle that for a cool minute we'd have to talk about why 
why it was so unkindled and why why it phased out before it ever will phase back in okay and set boundaries and cultivate these different types of things like a lot of people that i realized in my life were using me they would either use me for their emotional you know baggage or emotional release and i would just be like fuck they don't get it so whatever they can talk to me and all but now i'm not your fucking psychologist i'm not your fucking psychiatrist like if I am, then bitch, you better pay me like a, like literally 150 bucks an hour, cause uh, that's what they're going for. That's what that's what these psychiatrists and these psychologists are going for. Some of them are a thousand an hour. If you're good, if you're good. So, and my thing is, is if you guys keep coming to me, you guys keep giving me the, uh, like shit. I must be good at being able to receive. So, ultimate and giving you guys, you know, different questions for you guys to to perceive and have different better and, and better perceptions. So, bitch, better pay me a thousand an hour, like for real. Bitch, better have my money, as Rihanna says, as Riri says. You guys better have my money because if you guys try to keep giving me this emotional baggage, I'm just gonna transmute that. I'm just gonna transmute it. And it's crazy that we just think that other people are just like our emotional release, like because you can't deal with your own shit. Like do some breath. Like this is also a big thing is encouraging people to be more self-reliant and self-independent. And and the reason why you guys aren't self-reliant is because you guys have so much shit that you are reliant upon. I, I mean it because you haven't gotten to the point where like you have to rely on yourself. The reason why I went I went minimalist, check out my old minimalist video when my hair was buzzed and I wore the same thing that everybody makes fun of me for. I wore the same, the same, uh, you know, <laughs> the same wear. I, I wore two wardrobes. I had two wardrobes, dark and light, dark and light. And if it was, if I was feeling dark energy one day and I was feeling dark emotion, I'd wear dark. If I was wearing light emotion, I'd wear light. Or sometimes I just feel what I wanted to, or what, or what was clean. But for the most part, I stuck to the the emotional cultivation of what we wear like people look like what they wear people people's auras look like what they wear i look probably way more bright if i were to be wearing something darker i can guarantee you my aura would change because there is color frequency color association color you know magnification and amplification and i want you guys to understand this Okay, that look, I can care. I can care less what people think about me when people are like, yeah, you wore the same shit. You wore these pants. You wore this sweatshirt. You wore these shoes. Thank you for recognizing me. That's all, you know, thank you. That's all I was actually asking for was people to recognize me, but that still wasn't who I was. You, the funny thing was, is everybody realized what I was wearing because you guys only see the fucking surface level shit because you're surface level bitch. The only reason why you saw surface level shit was because that's what you were looking for. But you weren't looking for the person I was becoming because I kept that shit a secret. Because I didn't care how you fucking believed in it. I didn't care how you believed in me. I didn't care because I believed in myself. I built confidence with myself. Were you waking up at 4 a.m.? No, your ass was sleeping in. No, your ass was eating fucking shit. I was vegan for five and a half years. Come and challenge me. That's just fucking confidence. That's just fucking... Uh, competence. That's also just consistency. When the last time you've been consistent, you you've been consistently drinking shakes and milkshakes and and eating fucking candy bars and and eating spaghetti every night, which has no nutritional value and has anti nutrients that just suck from your cellular light. You know. Oh, but I don't ever talk shit on you because I don't I don't fucking care about talking shit on you. The only thing that you're ever fucking good in is talking shit on people. So that's the problem. I. That's being stoic. David Goggins was talking about this. If people haven't already tuned out, David Goggins was talking about this and he was literally saying like, if people are going to put out fucking darkness, they better be fucking ready to, to receive darkness back because I'm not going to hold on to that shit because I'm fucking light as fuck. I'm the lightness of the world. I'm the lightness of the world. I'm the light of the lightness, the ultraviolet of the world. So what do I mean by this? You know, there's this guy, he came to David Goggins. He was like, oh, so you wake up at 4 a.m. Oh, you do all this. Oh, you never take a day off. Oh, you never just give yourself. Oh, you don't just live. Oh, you can't just live. You can't just eat a cheeseburger and live. Oh, you can't just take a day off. He's like, he's like, 
It's like, dude, uh, just a bunch of shit. Oh, you have to have this or you, you know, whatever. And he was like, you're fat. You're fat. And people were like, that's fat shaming. No, that's all these crazy identities and all this type of stuff is, is also just crazy and outlandish to some degree. But I want you guys to understand that you have to, you have to see from a, a, a certain perspective. You do have to see from a, a rightness perspective. Living right. There is a right way to live. There is a right way to live. And when he's like, dude, you each, like each, he said something, but he was like, you know, each 15 pounds that you gain or said something, you know, that's like another level of sadness and depression. It's like when somebody has like 50 pounds of fat on them or a hundred pounds of fat on them, it's like, damn, I have layers of depression. I have layers of sadness. So there's that. I have layers of, you know, non-confidence or, or, or uh, insecurity or whatever. And so, you know, it's so funny. People are quick to dish out like bullshit to people, but people are never ready for people to stick up for themselves and stand up for themselves, which is, I think, also why it is, you know, reincorporated. It's a self-fulfilling prophecy. If nobody sticks up for themselves, they're just going to keep releasing emotional baggage. They're just going to give bullshit. But as soon as I fucking, if somebody says, you know, oh, da, 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 this, 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 and this, dude, you were never fucking ready for me. You were, you still aren't ready for me. Like, and people are like, that's arrogant. Well, there is also like sig- there's an arrogance of ignorance in the world too. Like, but we don't ever talk about that, do we? Do we? Do we? No, we don't ever talk about the ignorance, the the arrogance of being overly ignorant. Overly ignorant. What what do I mean? I mean like there's an arrogance in their ignorance like I could just do whatever I want. I'm enti- it's entitlement. It's a huge ass entitlement. It's like people believe that they deserve it because they exist, you know? They don't go out and, you know, live their purpose and fully deserve it by, you know, emitting what they deserve. They just feel entitled. And it's very interesting too, like, it doesn't matter about people's, what their parents make. It doesn't matter what your, you know, family makes. It doesn't matter what you've done, what you haven't done, or, or what your anybody else has done, it matters what you do. It matters what you do. It matters if you're going to the gym. It matters if you're getting rich. It matters if your family's eating. It matters if your family is having kids. It matters if your family, and I'm not saying this in a selfish way, but I'm saying like you always are worried about everybody else, like keeping up with the Kardashians, keeping up with the Joneses. You're worried about materialism. You're worried about spiritual materialism, all these different types of things. You always want to cross around your neck, but you still be drinking on the weekends. You still... You weren't, I'm going to write that into a song. I'm going to write that into a song. You know, you, you, you still wear a gold cross around your neck, but you're drinking on the weekends until your weekend. (laughs) Oh, that's until your weekend. So I want you guys to get guys that managing your life is also managing people's perceptions or misperceptions of you. And also you know, I don't have to hang out with these people because they don't understand me. They never got the concept like they, they would only see me when I was getting H-I-G-I or H-I-G-H. They only saw me when I was drinking or when I was smoking. They only saw that. But they didn't they didn't see the fact that um, I was, you know, working out every day. I was working out consistently. They would only they only point out your negatives and which is actually great. Sometimes that's actually great. Like, uh Jordan Peterson says, sometimes it's great to hang out with people who just talk shit because if you listen to them, they're going to show you all the points of where you're failing to society. And then you're going to be rid yourself and heal yourself of all these types of things. And then you're going to show up six months later, eight months later, 10 months later, 12 12 months later, a year later. You get what I'm saying? And you're going to show up and all these things are going to be healed. And people are going to be like, they're not going to have any shit to say. You're going to silence them. You're going to be fit. You're going to be rich. You're going to be wealthy. You're going to be healthy. You're going to be self-care. You're going to help other people. You're going to have multiple businesses, all these different types of things. And it's going to scare people to some degree. People are afraid of what they don't understand. That's why people are afraid of my spiritual cognizance. They're afraid of what I know. And it's because they don't know it. And I'm not saying that you should be afraid. I'm saying that be open-minded. Be open-minded to learn things that are of opposing posing, you know, mindsets. If you were born in a different 
If you were born in a different ethnicity, you'd have different beliefs. If you were born in a different state or a different country or a different um, nation, you'd have different beliefs. If you were born within, a, you know, if you were born Indian, I can guarantee you, you'd either be gravitate, you'd probably be a, a doing Hinduism, or you'd be Sikh, or all these other different types of things. If you were born in China, you might be a Buddhist, or you might be, uh, you might be gravitating more towards monk, Tai Chi. Qigong. If you're born in America, you might be Christian. If you were born in, or or Muslim, or uh, Ju, uh, you know, Judaistic, Judaistic, you'd study Judaism, Judaism. Okay, you guys see what I'm saying. And so people always just they misinterpret what they know because they've been programmed. And then these religions generally say, if you don't believe this, then you're going to hell. And so. It's very separate, like separation based. Like imagine like, like football. It's just like, if you're not on my team, then fuck you. You know, it's just like politics. If you're not on my politic, if you're not, if you're not believing in my politics, then fuck you. If you're not believing in my identities, then fuck you. You know, if you're not believing in my belief system, then fuck you. <laughs> it's like stuff like that. It's like, that's stupid. That's stupid as fuck. Like... You know what I mean? I, I, there is a balance to it. I'm not saying like, I, obviously there is like, you have to live right, but be more open-minded. Just be more open-minded. It's, it's not that fucking hard to get. Um, and also one thing that brings all of these things together is the body. All of these written texts talk about the temple. The body's the temple. Okay. The body's the temple. The body's God's temple. We never talk about that, no. We never talk about that. And that does not matter whether you're born Islamic or whether you're born a Hindu or whether you're born a Christian or whether you're born white or whether you're born black or whether you're born a woman or whether you're born a man or whether you're born a dinosaur. The soul, the light energy that is animating the body, the animation, the animating the light within the body Yo, there is consciousness in a dog. There's consciousness in a cat. There's consciousness in animals. There's consciousness in a lion, bruh. There's consciousness in a lion. Okay, there is. They just have a di they run on different light frequencies, which we were talking about earlier. So we're going to conclude this, guys. You know, might take another few minutes, but I want you guys to understand that there's levels to this shit. There's levels to this shit. You know, if you just listen, if you open your ears and you just consider, if you, for those who have eyes, see. For those who have ears, hear. Okay, it doesn't say, it does not say, you know, see it this way. <laughs> it doesn't say, hear this way. It says, be open to seeing. Be open to hearing. Like, they're similar, but they're not the same. One is more open, one is more closed. One is more open-minded, one is more closed-minded. One is a one is scarcity mindset, one is abundant mindset. Okay. So, ultimately to conclude this guys, you know, I want you guys to I want this to be an inspiration for you guys that, you know, we start building and cultivating and start building each other up, cultivating each other working on our businesses, working on our fitness, working on our emotionality, working working on our mentalities and as we evolve ourselves, stop listening to stop listening to poisonous music, stop watching poisonous shows, you know, watch things that will help advance your mindsets, you know, start going to the gym and actually start cultivating things, be better for somebody else, be better for yourself. Better for someone else is better for your relationship. Okay? Better for self and also better yourself for someone else. I know that sounds crazy, but that's that self-care, self-acceptance, self-improvement, okay? And start being more lucent, being radiant, being emitting light. So I want you guys to um, check out all the links in the description. You know, I have my empowerment mentorship course, okay? I have my empowerment mentorship course, which goes into a multitude of things. It goes into health, wealth, self, all these different types of things. This is just kind of an overview of everything. We get into the nitty gritty. I also get into the one-on-one -on -one consultations with you so I can meet with you every two weeks. We can discuss different types of things and goals for yourself. And also as well as, you know, check out some of my free eBooks on my website. Check out my website. Check out all my different stores and everything. Everything is for you guys. 
Okay, everything is for you guys. And be more strict. Start cultivating. Start competing with yourself. Start focusing on your money and accumulating money. Start focusing on real estate acquisition and you know moving to a home or you know take bigger steps and believe yourself to be bigger believe yourself to be bigger you've you've talked so much shit on yourself you talk your so much shit that you're just this human that you're just this ego that you're just this little self but if you also use that same voice that has talked shit on this and you reframed it to i'm fucking big i'm fucking giant i'm here i'm i'm building my relationships that is really going to help evolve your life Peace, much love, namaste, talk soon, spiritual shepherd.